Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about radioimmunoassay or RIA. So what is radioimmunoassay? Radioimmunoassay is a type of in vitro assay which involves two different things. As we split the name, radio, it means it involves the radioisotope and immunoassay means or definitely we use antigen antibody interactions uh, for uh, this assay. So, okay. So, in this technique, okay, that sample could be patient's blood sample, it could be patient's serum or it could be uh, any other body fluid of the patient. We want to detect a specific antigen and you know what are antigens? Antigens are the indication of infection. Bacteria or viral infections when happen in our body, the fragment portion of bacterial cell and as well as the viral particles are present throughout our body. Now those viral particles or the bacterial fragments are known as uh, those antigens. Now if we find specific antigen, we can tag that antigen to a disease and we can detect that disease in the person's body. That is the idea. So let's say here we want to detect a specific antigen in a patient's serum and that is called antigen X. Say the antigen X. So this process has two different stages. One stage is to know what we want to detect, which antigen we want to detect, okay. And knowing that we, will, we are going to design specific kits, reaction kit for that process in the lab. That is the first stage. And the second stage is using that kit to detect uh, the samples, uh, detect antigens in the samples. So here the first stage of creating the kit which will be required for testing the sample. Now in this case, let's say we want to find out antigen X in the patient's sample, that is patient's serum in this case. What we do, we take that specific antigen, which is antigen X, and we tag it with a radioactive dye. And radioactive here is iodine. Iodine 20, 125, it is a radio level iodine. So this radio level iodine we take, and we attach this radio level to the antigen X. So now our antigen X is radio labeled. And we also know antigen X always tend to bind with antibody X because antigen always pair with antibody. They interact with each other. It's known as antigen antibody complex formation. So in this case, this antigen X will interact with the antibody X. We know that. So what we do now, we take glass slides and we create small wells, small grooves in the glass slides, like tiny wells. Each of the wells, what we put, we put this antibody X, we fix that into the basement of the slide, fix that and then what we do, then we add this antigen X with the iodine tag onto that. So like this, we do, if I simplify it like Y, it will look something like this and we put all those radio labeled antigens li like that. So this is how our lab kit or well look like, okay. So once we prepare that. Now the second stage of the reaction which is actually to test patient's sample that is patient's serum in this case. Now let's assume this patient's serum we don't know whether there is any antigen or antigen present or not. So let's say here now we take that, uh, that kit of ours and then we put the patient's serum in it, okay. Now after placing patient's serum in this, if the patient's serum contains the same antigen that we used here because remember that's I told you first we need to detect the antigen that we want to tag. Let's say in this case we want to detect the antigen X in patient serum so we need antigen X to be tagged with iodine for that. Let's say you need for a different protein we can also use this process for detection of hormones let's say insulin. So if you want to detect insulin in patient's blood you need to take insulin and attach it with the radio level tag. So whatever you want to detect you do the same thing here. To produce the kit. So once we have this and let's say we want to find out that antigen X here. So if this antigen is present in patient serum, that antigen will compete with the already bound antigen for the attachment to the antibodies because obviously antigens always have specificity towards antibody interactions. So in this case, the concentration of patient's antigen will be an important factor. The more concentrated the patient's serum with antigen is, the more chances are there that this antigen will replace the iodine attached antigens. This is the idea. 
patient's blood antigens will replace the iodine attached antigens and here whatever antigen is attached is known as a tagged or attached antigen or fixed antigen whatever antigen is displaced is known as free antigens or they also have two different names whatever antigens are tagged with iodine known as hot antigen whatever antigens are untagged that is a normal patient serum antigen is known as cold antigens so resemble this part let's say the patient serum contains antigen so the antigen will compete with the iodine attached antigen to bind with the antibody and if the concentration of antigen is significantly higher then this antigen is going to replace some of the iodine tagged antigen from the antibody complex so what we'll get now after this process is done we will take whatever wash out we have because you know these antibodies are fixed in the plate uh, antigens are attached to antibody so whatever attached antigens are there they are not going to come out so in the su suspension in the supernatant in this well whatever things we find are the displaced antigens and the displaced antigens will contain iodine tagged antigen if patient serum contains the specific antigen okay because those antigen will release will displace will substitute those iodinated antigen so now if if we look at the scenario the supernatant we collect and we check for the radioactivity of that supernatant remember at the very beginning when we start this process the radioactivity of the supernatant is zero it's very very low because there is no free iodinated iodine attached or tagged antigens present everything is bound but now as we are starting adding this patient serum antigens they start to substitute this iodine attached one so we are going to get them out in the supernatant so we check them for the radioactivity using different radioactivity meter now we can use gamma counter or different types of counter radioactivity meter to detect the radioactivity now whatever change in radioactivity we observe it is directly proportional to the concentration of antigen present in patient serum the more antigens present in patient serum the more iodine attached or iodine tagged antigens they are going to displace the more uh, radioactivity we are going to see in the supernatant that's how we can find out the whether the patient serum contains antigen or not and also what is the concentration of antigen that is present in the patient serum that also we can con conclude so if patient serum does not contain any antigen then there will be no displacement so the net change in radioactivity before and after will be less or nothing okay so this process is qualitative as well as quantitative and the importance of this process is that this process is extremely specific and very very targeted and the sensitivity of this reaction is also very high sensitivity and specificity both are very high but still the cost of this reaction is comparatively cheaper compared with any other immunoassays so this is a very important reaction that we can do all the time for the detection of antigens in the blood and also we can detect the presence of hormones as i told you like insulin we can detect it with this process and also we can detect allergens instead of antigens that are present in our body that cause allergy or allergic reactions in our body using radio immunoassay now the process with which we detect the allergens are known as rast rast is a type of rea uh, is uh, radio absorbent uh, radio allergosorbent uh, assay okay allergosorbent assay that is known as the uh, rast it is another type of radio immune assay so it has multiple advantages like that okay so that's kind of it guys if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel the links are provided here on the top and the bottom and definitely share this video with your friends thank you